all right y'all welcome back so a nigga got exposed uh connect oh can, can how do you say this nigga's name bro okay Kaneko kitten yeah this nigga right here on the screen right now that you're seeing right now got exposed for being this meat in a porta potty um me personally if i get caught beating my shit in a porta potty i would not get caught nah but for real on a serious note this guy got exposed for doing something i don't know what he did but we're gonna find out but guys if you guys used to watch this guy a long time ago because i definitely did i used to watch this nigga all the time bro ain't nothing to talk about almost at 3k subscribers so uh life's up now recently the youtuber nappy made a call out video exposing kaneko kin and linked to google dropbox with many incriminating screenshots oh, proving no. how kaneko kin has been lying to everyone consistently for over two years regarding the truth nigga, behind his google interactions dropbox, with Nopi, nigga? in which i basically covered in an older video back in January of 2021. In these images that Napi shows, he proves that Kaneko Kin had solicited nude images of him, despite the fact that Napi was literally 17 years old at the time, so still a minor, such oh, as agreeing to base- nah. Nigga, we jumping off on a bad start, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Nude pictures? How you get caught? We see images of his you-know-what, and then made comments about them, like sexually charged comments. I don't care if it's the angle, but it looks massive. We're referring to the nude I sent him. Wait, so wait, hold on, pause. So you tell me this narpy nigga? You tell me the narpy nigga sent a nude to uh this nigga kitten? Can I go? Nigga, shouldn't the narpy nigga be fucking getting exposed? In which he then promptly deleted to try and dodge any accountability or culpability in the situation. Yeah, that is he also covers how ooh, in Kineko up, Kitten's original up. document attempting to call him out and ruin his reputation, Kaneko Kitten had spread false and incorrect evidence such as false Twitter call-out posts ah. attempting to claim and support the fact that Napi was some sort of pedophile even though he was quite literally a minor. This was a blatant oh, attempt okay. at Kaneko Kitten attempting to warp the narrative and tarnish Bro, Napi's mil subs down the fucking drain ability to try and villainize and demonize the opposing hey, nigga, side let me get your youtube channel bro i ain't not gonna do nothing with a homeboy you got fucking exposed try and make it harder for nappy to come out about the truth but after two long years nappy's finally shared his side of the story keep in mind when this hearing that i'm Nopi, scared two scared long of years, nappy's finally shared his side of the Stuff for this. Oh, that's just say two years ago. I'm about to say you scared this nigga Kaneko Keep Kitten in now. Mind, when hearing that Napi would make a response, Kaneko Kitten yet again made a preemptive post oh, on hell Twitter no, I trying to that. cushion the blow of the situation. <laughs> and in his entire paragraph, which he literally goes on for ages, he does not admit once that he asked a minor three years younger than them for nudes. He so just generalizes he was the entire yapping. situation as incriminating against him. However, he does he admit that he lied to thousands of people about the reality of the situation. Uh, and that ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of lying. I mean, like he still got to keep his little innocent image or whatever. Innocent image. He got lie. He got lie sometimes. Posts. He was signal boosting. I don't support it, but calling Napi a pedophile. I, hold on. Not I sound stupid, don't I? Okay, maybe I do support Not it. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Context. So basically, due to the lies that Kaneko can. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Before I say anything, I don't support this. I'm talking about like lying, like. Sometimes you gotta lie, real talk. Created in a document in order to tarnish Napi's reputation, he literally has the brass neck to stay silent about it for two years, and this literally resulted in Napi getting tons of death threats, harassment, he was literally doxxed, and then he was swatted on oh, his live stream. No. no wonder why Kaneko Kitten feels guilty about this entire situation. Oh, I would have exposed that nigga too! <laughs> <laughs> what is on fuck? so many parts? Oh, my mama would expose it. Nappy states how Kaneko Kitten lied about the fact that the relationship was quote unquote one sided and not mutual. Here's a clip. In the document, Kaneko states that our relationship Show your face, nigga. in the sense that he didn't reciprocate intimately or sexually to me much or at all. I would like to correct this and prove that not only was our relationship Every time this nigga talk, talk he moved. But that it was rather mutual and it had went on for many months. And in this, Nappy provides very sexual. Wait, that's a nigga? Wait, this Kaneko kitten nigga was gay? Let me just Messages continue the video. Which I don't know, Kitten's culpability in this situation. So let's go over them. So in the first screenshot here, it shows that Kaneko Kitten says, you just need some training. And Napi, who's deleted user, and keep in mind, Napi pretended to be a deleted user, so he was technically still had access to this account, states right here, I want you to train me. And then Kaneko Kitten states, of course you do. And then the furry- Bruh, thing, nigga, fuck this. Both y'all niggas some freaks. From I what I'm fucking the seeing. Time. And then Napi states- Let's just say 2019. Yes. And then Kaneko Kitten says, smiley face smooch and then Napi, who's deleted user continues by stating this free speed's killing me now <sighs> bro shut the fuck up first of all why y'all doing this in discord get the phone number or something why fucking discord 
That's so weird. I will I will never uh I would never talk sexy to no girl in fucking Discord. You got me fucked up. It's gonna be a uh, fucking dude. I don't know if I could hold any longer. And Kaneko Kitten says, "Don't oh well make a mess." I want oh wait, oh fuck! What I just said? He's gay. I forgot, I forgot he was gay. Printing <laughs> that. And then Nappy states, "So you want me to go for it?" And then Kaneko Kitten says, "Your hand's right there." And then there's more messages that is being leaked here by Nappy, in which deleted user aka Nappy states, "I'm probably the horniest person you'll meet." That's a problem. Z Bro, oh, both y'all niggas some fucking hornballs. It's just that the situation just got out of hand. I was like, bro, fuck this Kaneko nigga, bro. I'm finna expose this dumbass. And then Kitten states, I'm really horny nowadays. Yo, yep, you're Nappy fucking. States, I, I don't even know how old you are. Lol, yeah. Discord sex epic. Sex. And then Kitten I'll states, get weirded I'm out. glad I'm capable of making you nuts all over your shirt. Ooh, oh, fuck orange. no. Oh my god. And then Nappy states, fuck. <gasps> Stop and then kitten states, What's the matter? Are you niggas like fucking on Discord? Okay, like getting picked on, and then Nappy states, I'm getting rock hard. LMAO, and then Kaneko Kitten continues by stating, And the fun part, you're easy. And then there's another screenshot here in which Kaneko Kitten states, Yeah, and then this face, Why would I not, big dummy? Just saying, No, yesterday your giggling was so precious. And then Nappy continues by stating, Ha, yeah, our Discord sucks. Was Stop. Stop. There's so many things I want to say, but I can't say it because um I'm on freaking YouTube. But what's what fuck what I had to say, bro? Let's just continue the video. Can't load any faster. And then Kaneko Kitten states, "Shush, happy for you." Hey, do you want to play Minecraft soon? Why'd you have to make me blush like that? And then yo, man, you got left on fucking red. Love you, hair. Also, sorry, I'm currently going to Lowe's to buy a carpet. And then Kaneko Kitten states, "Play Minecraft later. Also, show carpet when you have it." And then more messages. You want to see fucking carpet? Nigga, you sound boring as shit. Get this fucking out of my face. Bro, that nigga said, let me go see the fucking carpet after you get back home. I totally you're, you sound lame, sure. nigga. He's referencing an image oh, that he nah. had posted when he was a minor of his butt. So it's an explicit image of a minor, uh, which Kaneko Kitten's replying to here. And Nappy states, I crave it, yes. Fuck, <gasps> please, Kitten. And then Kaneko Kitten says, please what? Don't know what you're begging me for. And then Nappy states, fuck me. <sighs> and then Kaneko Kitten states, Bro, that I think you scare me. how big I I am and Nappy states I'll take you. it all. Ha 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 ha. And then Kaneko Kitten says, uh -huh, sure. That's a deadly decision to make because when I'm on top plowing away, it's not like I'm stopping. And then Nappy Hell nah. He continues by stating, I don't want you to stop. And in this other DM exchange, Kaneko Kitten states, maybe a little sore too. And then Nappy states, fuck. Oh, nigga and dick turn purple and shit. It's not really a giggling matter, you dummy. Oh, whoa. I could totally just come up behind you and reach up your Yo, underwear. shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas not even fucking. That's the crazy thing, bro. Bro, what? Why am I only five minutes into this video, bro? Can you get this shit over with, bro? These niggas been fucking for like five minutes. And grope you randomly. And then Nappy continues by stating, I'm so hard, LMAO. And then Kaneko Kitten says, Climb on top of me and frot your you know what against mine. And Nappy continues by stating, F Ooh. yeah, I want to. And then Kaneko Kitten continues by stating, Shove your tongue down my throat while our dicks Ooh. get slick and wet grinding. Oh my god, what am I reading? And then he states, God, oh, bro. Oh, oh, I'm so. And then Kaneko Kitten says, "Hey, hey, hey, love heart emoji." And then you know, nigga, like that shit. With not be stating my butt, blah blah blah. And Kaneko Kitten says, "With the thigh highs, yeah, no question, I'd grow it." Ooh woo. And then Nappy here says, "Move." And then Kaneko Kitten says, "It's probably nice and soft too." And then Nappy says, "It is." Hey, 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 hey. And Kaneko Kitten says, "You're such a something." Ooh woo, cutie. Would be soft and red after a bit of my manhandling. And then Nappy's continuing continues by stating, oh, for fuck, ha ha, and then Kaneko Kitten continues by stating, maybe a little sore too, and then Nappy states, fuck <gasps> half. Anyway, yo, <clears throat> yo, as you can, can see stop here, fucking. Kaneko Kitten even stated he never asked for Nappy, who was 17 at the time, for nudes. But once again, this is a complete and utter so lie. So you me that nigga just fucking sent that shit? Kitten deleted all the messages where he was asking for and soliciting Nappy at the time, who was a minor for nudes, in order to make it look like he was a, he was in the right in this situation, and to purport a like, direct narrative that he wasn't in the wrong and keep him hey, I ain't gonna lie first of all why would he show the fucking news I would delete them hoes too you niggas are not finishing my wee wee fuck no had actually got these DMs as I said earlier as he pretended Especially on, his no fuck that nigga stop why are you sending your dick on discord if y'all niggas send y'all dick on discord y'all need to like y'all niggas might as well just escort y'all way out of here bro fuck no
deleted. He even made the name of the Discord account deleted user even though he still had access to it. So when Kaneko Kim was actually removing all these messages, he didn't remove all of them, he only removed the most incriminating ones because he believed Napi would never be able to retrieve these chat logs again because he would have never gave these up. So once again, this is just more proof of Kaneko Kim hiding the truth from the public and straight up lying to people's faces instead of actually having the balls to take accountability for his actions. Nigga, how would he have balls to take accountability to this, bro? Nigga, first day I get a ball like this? Oh, hell no, nah, nigga. I'm laying in my bed. I'm, I'm gonna be laying in my bed like, what the fuck did I just do, bro? I really, damn, 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 I got, I got caught, fuck. I should probably bleep that out the fucking video. He even admitted he deleted and removed these messages because he was clearly hiding from his own actions. So now we will go over the chat messages of Kaneko Kin receiving nudes from Napi, who was a minor at the time. He was 17, Kaneko Kin was 20, it was a free rage guy. Damn! Okay, so here's the Discord logs and Kaneko Kin says, what you're doing? And then Napi says, time to take some <gasps> photos. And as you can see here, every time there's a line here, it's an interjection of where Kaneko Kin or Napi had done something and deleted the message because otherwise if we were to just take all of these chat logs as like this basis it'd be missing a lot of context because you yo both y'all niggas are sending each other dick pics bro i don't even want to get into like the topic like i don't know to be honest but both y'all niggas sending dick pics to each other is it is it is it just me or is that crazy? Come on, man. I don't know. I don't know. Both y'all niggas sending dip to each other. You see ah. to a message which Hell isn't nah. even there anymore. So basically, all the lines here give context to what message you spazzed out when he so saw Kaneko's wiener. Kaneko Kitten deleted a message of him asking me to show him the whole <gasps> photos. And then here, Napi replies in response to Kaneko Kitten's now deleted message. And then in the green, it's where I sent Kaneko the nude. And then Kaneko Kitten says LMAO. And then Napi he says no to LMAO. Oh. Da, 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 da. Nigga said LMAO cause your shit small nigga Kaneko Kitten in reference to the nude states I don't know if it's the angle but it looks massive Wonder what he's um, referencing there And then Napi here states B word what angle And then deleted Kaneko Kitten message of him being sexual to me Or Napi in this case And then Napi states da, 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 da. And then Kaneko Kitten puts that face down and Oh bro 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 And then deleted Kaneko message of him being sexual to Napi once again here And then Napi states Shut I seriously want something up my butt right now Ten like, this shit making my odds switch, bro. Wanna see me finger myself? Oh, hell nah. Nigga finna put a finger in his asshole. I to use the Sharpie again. Why that shit <laughs> stink? Okay. Wanna see me finger myself? And then and the messages continue here in a yellow with a message of Kaneko Kitten saying yes to Napi, you know, asking him, do you wanna see another nude of me? Uh, Napi over here says, hey, hey, this is the first time I fake myself with lube. It feels so nice. And then Napi sends the nude to Kaneko Kitten here. And Kaneko Kitten states, congrats, you're becoming a bottom. How does it feel? And then Napi replies, great. My ass is so tight, huh? I need something to loosen it up. And in here, apparently, according to Napi, Kaneko Kitten says he asked me to ride his you know what. And obviously, that would make sense in this context because otherwise, in this situation, it just looks like Napi. Yo, shut the fuck up, bro. Honestly, if you know what you will, if you got a platform, bro, you're making money or whatever, bro, you're getting your bag or whatever, so you got a little million subscribers or whatever. But, dog, what? What the fuck possessed you? Actually, no, fuck that. I can't even say that. Because that shit was back in 2019. If we were making money in 2019, what really would be possessing niggas to, like, still act like this? You know what I'm trying to say? Because usually, like, when niggas get exposed and shit, that's usually that shit would be, like, recently or something like that. But, yeah. Like, let's say a nigga had five million subscribers and he go do some shit with a little girl. Why? Nigga, you... He's, he's averaging a million views. That's like fucking Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast gets fucking exposed. For doing something with an underage girl. Do that even make sense for Mr. Beast to fucking do? Why would you do that, Mr. Beast? <laughs> Napi in the next messages is like, what be possessing y'all, bro? Napi here says, LMAO, ah, ja, 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 ja. yes, ha, huh, huh, huh. and he also adds here as additional context, there are more missing gaps of him being sexual, but where he deleted them here are unclear. So, as you can see, this is just more proof of Kaneko Kitten purging messages which make him look bad. Kaneko Kitten here then also changes the conversation now to say, I need to hecking sleep though, I didn't realize it's so late. And then Napi here says, Google the book, Google the book. Anyway, keep in mind once again, Kaneko Kitten has admitted 
admitted that he was consensual with the nudes being sent to him as he was literally soliciting them and then scrubbed all proof of him you know being part of this in the dms with napi later on and then he admits in the document which subjected napi to an insane amount of harassment and was literally cherry picked purported false narratives and lied against him he literally just admitted that the document he made in which was trying to be made to defend his reputation against napi was literally just based on the entire lie his whole narrative was built in a house of cards who had made statements and linked threads accusing me of being a pedo and a groomer and urged people to believe this is fact while providing no evidence for those claims. In 2019, while I was still close with Kaneko, I would talk to him about Red and I had told him the true story about what happened. I also told him that my screenshots with Red had been taken out of context. However, he still felt the need to include this in his document. Unfortunately, this ended up being the most reposted section of his document and these false groomer and- So, this narpy nigga, bro. You were showing your dick too? Was you showing your dick, narpy? Be honest. Don't even cap or say got off the internet. I know you was showing your little wee wee to this nigga, bro. You had to. Keto allegations would end up sticking to my name for the years that followed. Also, in Kaneko's thread, he mentioned that I flirted with a minor in my Discord server by calling them daddy material. Damn. This thread has since deleted off of Twitter, but Wayback Machine still has it. I did not do this, and I have never flirted with random people in my public voice chats. When these claims were alleged, I was at the peak of my YouTube. I find it hard to believe that if I had joined a voice channel and flirted with a minor, that there wouldn't be a voice recording of me doing so. It blows my mind that these claims were taken at face value, without a clip of me doing anything. Kaneko can even admits once again that the threads linked in the document were complete BS, and all he can fathom in response to this is, oh I'm so sorry Napi, even though bro literally killed Napi's reputation because he didn't want Napi to come out about his degenerate behaviour too. And I also want to preface this by stating I don't believe that Kaneko kittens a pedophile with this proof, but it is still very disgusting that he still solicited nudes from minor when he was 3 years older than them, and then proceeded to lie and play victim in this entire situation when he is literally more in the wrong than Napi is. Be careful, y'all. Be careful. I'm not I'm not saying be careful. Like, okay, what I'm talking about right now is like if you know someone can say a whole lot of shit about you, be careful. Stay silent. Don't say too much. This nigga know everything about you. This nigga know you eat ass. This nigga know you fucking it's like a normal, like this is a life lesson. I have learned this so many fucking times and I never learned. Actually, no, fuck that. I do be learning. I had to you have to learn, you have to learn let things go real talk. I'm not saying y'all, I'm not talking about on a minor topic, I'm talking about like a real shit shit topic but like this some real shit like if you get with a girl right and let's say oh girl she know they be putting your finger up your butt and all the other bullshit and y'all niggas break up on bad terms or whatever but y'all break up it's because of her right okay y'all break up because of her but she know that you be putting your finger up your butt on the facetime calls nigga don't say anything about that breakup bro don't don't say what she did she gonna say what you did on that facetime call after recording this i noticed i had left out a claim made by kaneko in kaneko's document he claims that i had sent him cover art maliciously this is not true. I had sent Kaneko what I thought was kimono artwork. He liked the art and I wanted to send him more, so I did a reverse image search, which revealed that the art was actually drawn by an NSFW artist. Wait, wasn't nigga jerking off the artwork? Immediately That's after what it looked like. that the art was drawn by an NSFW artist, I realized that it was cover art and not kimono artwork. My reaction to this was finding it funny and making jokes about it, as this was my sense of humor at the time. When I said, even though it's good, I was not referring to the cub artist Twitter, I was referring to the art that I had sent to Kaneko. This claim was added on because it's part of the pedo and grooming accusations in the document. Kaneko knew the context here and still added it on because, without context, my actions look quite disgusting. This is also something that I later clarified to him and owned up to fully. Now, Kaneko Kim was attempting to try and not get this story out. And when Napi asked what the reason was, Kaneko Kim responds, I'm not really worried about being called a pedophile, nor do I really care what dipshits <gasps> on Twitter think about my character. Oh, and, well. you know, Napi here obviously <laughs> smells the bullshit. I don't mind getting called a pedophile. Even though I am a pedophile. <laughs> Mark Witten says, From what you've shown me, I don't know if that's entirely true. However, after this, Kaneko Kitten states, He's actually worried about what everyone may think about the Naku situation. Because keep in mind, Naku was in a relationship with Kaneko Kitten. Who the Kitten fuck is this? Bro, fuck this shit. Why are y'all niggas furries and shit, bro? Like, damn. 17, and Kaneko Kitten was 20. The ages are presented here, showing it how it was a free year. Fuck niggas got going off for animals. Yo, stop giving me ad, bro. I get it. This nigga's been making his fucking bag off these fucking ads, bro. He knew this shit was gonna get views too. Ain't nobody wanna know damn firehouse up. Nine month age gap. Kaneko and Nako were together while him and I were being sexual with each other over Discord. 
After they broke up, Kaneko would go on to make a statement about their relationship, justifying it by claiming that their relationship was purely platonic, and that he was not a pedophile because he was not sexual with Naku. Kaneko Ken's main defense when it comes to this situation where he was dating Naku is that he was asexual at the time of, of being in a relationship with them. However, first of all, he was literally cheating on Naku behind her back with Napi and was oh, that's a she? My with fault. Napi. So My how fault, could he Genji. have been asexual at the time if he was literally engaging in gay fairy roleplay? Whoa, with whoa, whoa, fuck that. Don't man cheating on you with a nigga? Oh, let that shit go. Let that shit go. Year old. If you get cheated on with opposite gender, bro, just let that shit go. That shit was Boy. not meant to also, be. Also, keep in mind that Kaneko can gay for life. Naku in person before. Oh, so no. Kaneko, how fucking tall are you? This nigga like six fucking five hundred. So Kaneko kitten met up with Naku in person before. Damn. So just to narrow down the situation, this Kaneko kitten does too. I'm, oh, I'm like six foot, but and damn. Only cat pictures were sent is extremely hard to believe, considering Kaneko kitten's long list of lies that are now being unearthed. The only thing I want to address are his justifications. He had claimed that he was asexual with near zero interest in 18 plus activities. Kaneko was in no way an asexual during this time, as he had been extremely sexual together with me during 2019, when I was 17 years old, while him and Naku were still together. As mentioned previously in this video, our sexual interactions would come to a stop in January of 2020, right before I had turned 18. His relationship with Naku would last an additional 9 months, before eventually coming to an end in September of 2020, around the time that she was turning 18. As I've mentioned previously, I have absolutely no idea about Kaneko's relationship with Naku, or about why it stopped. I also know next to nothing about her. The only point I want to address was his claim of being asexual during this time, which is just completely false. And all I'm saying is I wouldn't be surprised if more comes out about this situation and he's trying to hide a lot more. Napi also goes into more detail on how Kaneko Ken kept dodging accountability when it came to admitting that the pedophilia accusations he was signal boosting in his original Napi Exposed document was literally completely false. Kaneko Ken just kept going on tangents and tiptoeing around the situation at hand. Two weeks ago, when I reached out to Kaneko and told him that I was making a type too much. I'm not reading all that. Tracking the groomer and pedo allegations he made against me. Although he had promised many months prior that he would do this, he would ultimately go back on his promise and reject the idea entirely. Instead, he would deflect and talk about my actions during 2020, using his grandfather as a pivot point and blaming me for the time he'd lost. I continued to pressure oh, uh. him to come forward, but he never gave in. He continued to deflect and dodge accountability. However, he ended up offering to record a voice note for this video, but this wasn't really something that I was interested in. I told them that I wanted him to own up to his mistakes on his platform, not mine. And keep in mind, this situation got so big in the Roblox community in 2021 that even Keemstar started, you know, purporting the Keemstar? document around the internet and spreading it too. The lies, the manipulation, and deceit that Kaneko Kin used in the document damaged Napi so badly that thousands of people had the wrong idea about his character and what he had done, like including myself as well. He literally had to keep enduring these harassments based off of lies for literally over the greater part of like two two years now now Napi goes over me Kaneko personally Ken. i wouldn't go two years my nigga oh he definitely did not go oh hell no nah. this nigga been plotting on this nigga for, for two years Twitter post in which was a last statement Kaneko intends to make about this situation and they gotta plan that shit out and everything me, this recent statement was a last ditch effort from his side to try to save face after he realized that i was actually going through with making this video as i mentioned before in the intro this is not the first time that i have wanted to speak publicly about everything I had reached out to Kaneko many times in the past, but I had been extremely scared about saying anything publicly, fearing that things would get worse for me, or that Kaneko would just strong arm me like how he'd done many times before in our DMs. I am really glad that he decided to own up and admit some of the things he did wrong. However, I Only some. that he did it in such a disingenuous way. He claims that he feels guilty and that he feels really bad about everything. Yet he only came Shit, he probably to realize that his attempt to manipulate me into silence hadn't worked this time, and I was still coming forward with my side of the story. The statements he made this week were not made out of guilt or because he feels sorry. He made these statements as a last effort to save his own skin, and for that I am truly disappointed. So overall, me and many other people are extremely disappointed and I'm actually pretty shocked about how Kaneko was able to lie this badly and on this massive scale for over two years and how he essentially got away with it for a very long period of time about just lying about Napi. And don't get me wrong, Napi made a lot of mistakes in the past after being groomed in a degenerate furry pipeline and consuming very gross content and obviously being manipulative in his relationship with Kaneko Kin and using his suicidality in a very immoral way. However, the idea that Kaneko Kin keeps pushing 
pushing and presenting in the document that Napi was the only one wrong in a relationship was a blatant half-truth and a lie. And it's insane how much he attempted to manipulate Napi into silence to try and prevent him from actually responding in this video in which he's obviously made now. He obviously should have never solicited illegal material from Napi when they were literally a minor and a three-year age gap is very weird. However, ICD defines a pedophilic age gap as anything five years or above. And currently many people are calling Kaneko Kitten a pedophile over this, which I don't entirely <laughs> believe is true currently. Guy? Also, Napi never explicitly came out and said that Kaneko King groomed them either, so those two definitions I don't believe match in this situation. However, if this situation shows anything, it's that Kaneko Kitten engaged in absolutely disgusting and degenerate things back four years ago in 2019, and that he entirely lied about the situation. Go but once again, this wouldn't be the first time he lied, because he literally ruined the entire reputation of Cole, because he literally what? said the word cringe to his fan, despite the fact that Kaneko Kitten, the main person who was literally calling Cole out and ruined his reputation, would be extremely rude to his fans in his own- Oh no. Oh no. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, y'all know y'all already know the whole chorus, all that bullshit situation. If I was inside that group, that nigga said cringe, I'll let that shit go. I ain't finna take that bullshit to heart. Shit, if it's cringe, it's cringe. I ain't finna kick you out of the group. It's just okay. Own Discord server, which Shit, is nigga, at the end of the day, we are making money, if you bro. Never pinged Kaneko Kin. He would literally swear at you and insult you constantly. And I literally remember seeing this because I was in his server and, and saw the chat logs at the time. If any Kaneko Kin moderator wants to come out about this, please do because it was insane the hypocrisy here. He cancels Cole for calling someone cringe and literally over exaggerates the situation so much. Damn! He himself is insane. Hey, Cole's getting tired of your ass, bro. Him or had pinged him in his old Discord server. It's insane and I love how no one brings that up. Now, maybe this situation is a domino chain to see what else Kaneko Kitten's lied about, but it's no doubt that he's currently moved away from the online sphere and is working on self-betterment rather than terminally online degeneracy. However, this has severely affected his credibility in the Roblox community, and as stated in what I believe to be his final response on Twitter to the entire situation, he literally stated himself that he will be taking a indefinite break from the Roblox community. And I don't think most people- Don't say no break, niggly, bro. I would say fuck that shit. Hell no. Nah. Honestly, bro, you're gonna have the niggas that be like, bro, ain't this nigga that you're gonna talk, you gonna have that nigga. And you're gonna have the niggas in the comments defending your ass, talking about some. Let's just stop it already. He's tired of it. He already apologized. What more do y'all want from him? That's probably gonna be the brain dead niggas. From what I'm looking at it right now, he, I don't I don't know. If you a fan of him, you like a deep, dark fucking dick rider, you probably already got manipulated by an apology he made or something. I don't know want him back either after this situation. And obviously I apologize to Napi and I believe everyone else should too, who, you know, tarnish his reputation because I actually believed the half truth and lies that Kaneko Kitten was purporting in this document and so did so many others. So anyway, please share this video around the Roblox community so more people can be made aware about this situation because what Kaneko did with Napi was quite literally illegal. It is illegal. Is he going to jail? No. <laughs> Is he going to jail? No. Oh, he's not going to no fucking jail. I know. I think it depends. But this nigga, y'all not going to see this nigga behind bars. That's all I fucking know. Um, life, les life lesson is, um, y'all niggas get caught, uh, talking to a minor or something. Oh, y'all better pray to God that y'all don't, I don't know, man. Don't do that. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> That's why we should be saying y'all niggas don't do that, bro. Don't do that. That's not it. If y'all about that time, then anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope y'all like or subscribe. And, um, I'll fuck on y'all niggas later. All right. I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>